and the history of it and how great it was. And I was a big fan back in the day because of all the great players that came here and played and uh, the games they won. And so it gives me um, uh, a sense of not urgency but of pride and uh, enthusiasm that uh, you need to be a part of this program. And uh, as I talk to my team every day, if you come watch this practice, all about effort, giving great effort, uh, doing things the right way, uh, because that's what the really good teams are doing. And sometimes when you face your opponents in practice, uh, you can lose a sense of what other teams are really doing. And so I've been a real, real stickler about our guys working really hard, cutting hard, uh, rebounding the basketball at a high level. Uh, and so we want this program, if we can get, we may not be able to get it back to where it was, because where it was is really, really good, okay? But we can get close to that and, and get this program in the NCAA tournament, competing for championships. Uh, I think the city of Detroit would love that because this is uh, a basketball city. Uh, everywhere you go, uh, you always hear about players from Detroit. And when you look around the country of rosters, there's a lot of players that from Detroit had a lot of success at other schools. And um, I know as I talk about why you can't keep kids here, but you have to win. You have to win. And when you win at another level, uh, now they have the pride that the alums have in their program. And I just appreciate Robert giving me this opportunity to lead this program and, and, and the rich tradition that we have. And I got to tell our players sometimes, you may you probably won't be the best player to ever play here. There's experience some really good players to play here. But the players that played here follow my program. I've had calls from uh, a lot of former players uh, about the program and how they feel about the program. And uh, it really gets me excited. Uh, I've never been in a situation where you're excited going to work, but when you're, even when you're excited going home after, looking forward to the next day, it tells you where you are and, and how bad you want this program to be successful. We practice uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 3.30. Uh, Saturday, we kind of change a little bit. We go in the mornings, uh, give them Sunday and Mondays off. So if anyone want to come and watch this practice, you're more than welcome to watch uh, our guys work. And you know, it's my job to instill in them the tradition. I keep saying tradition and, and how great this program has been, it's my job to make sure our guys know that and work every single day uh, to get to that point. And so I'm not sure I, you guys ask me questions or how it goes, but again, you know, I'm not going to promise you we're going to win 20 games, but I did tell you it's going to take me two months to turn it around. And, and when you come and watch us practice, our effort is <coughs> right now is at an eight, and we're trying to get to a 10. And that's what it takes to be a really good basketball team, is giving effort and appreciate the technique. And just appreciate when I'm from Detroit, just appreciate coming in the gym. When, when you cross those lines out there, you cross that red, you get to that paint uh, on the floor, it's all about how hard you work. And I'm proud um, of this basketball team right now. And I was scheduled, supposed to be really, really difficult, but you know where I came from. We played 13 on the road, and um, I tried to play as many BCS schools as possible. Uh, next year, I want to try to get, if we can, Kentucky, Duke, whoever it may be, to come play us here. Uh, but to do that, you have to put a product on the court that you know can compete. And it's all about right now going out recruiting and really getting good players in here. And we may be. I'm, I'm used to getting eight, seven players new. This year we have 13 new guys. And so when I arrived in June. Uh, only three guys stayed from last year, but when I arrived in June, I knew it was going to be a challenge to recruit them. We had some really good players that, that wanted to come, but again, you know, we have to win games to get them here. But the 13 guys that are here now, uh, they're giving great effort, giving really, really, really good effort. And again, we're looking forward to uh, November the 3rd to play our first game. I watched the game last year on video uh, with Wayne State last year a couple of days ago. Uh, and Wayne State came here and gave a great effort and won the basketball game. But uh, my focus is March. We, we want to be a really good basketball team in March. That's what we want to be. Win, lose, or draw in November, December, January, and February is really fine. But uh, 
anything that any success that we have, we're going to ignore it. And any failure that we have early is not going to dictate who we're going to be in March. And so come March, we want to be rolling and, and playing.